you're gonna do is gonna be the following. Begin. Are right, you gonna check for the captain's responsiveness? Hey, are you okay? That is it. Hey, are you okay? That's all you're asking. The grid is gonna stay. Casualty is unresponsive. Are right, you gonna direct bystanders to go get a medic and go get an AED? All right, that is it. That is the end of uh, step number one. Step number two is gonna start with you taking a knee. All right, you're gonna kneel beside your casualty. Extend the arm near his shoe, straight up. Keep his other arm by his side, straighten out his legs. You're gonna stabilize the neck and head with one hand. Take your opposite hand, go under the armpit, and roll the casualty as a single unit. Once he's over, you're gonna put his arms by his side, and then straighten out his legs. All right, notice our Hurley started from top to bottom, so he started by moving their arms first, then the legs. Uh, at that time, the grader will stay. Casualty does not appear to be breathing. Casualty is not breathing. You're going to expose the chest. Without breaking the jacket. All right, we'll pretend this is exposed now. Then you're going to head tilt, chin lift. All right, you're going to take your palm, applying firm pressure on the forehead, with two fingers, not using the thumb, on the bony port of the jaw. Avoid pressing into the soft spot under the chin. All right, so head tilt, chin lift. Counting respirations for 15 seconds. All right, the greater is you conducting this uh, according to task. The greater will stay. Casualty is not breathing. Yes, he's not breathing. All right, going to insert an MPA. You have a CLS bag. You have two MPAs in there. You to pull it out. You're going to measure it from the casualty's nostril to his earlobe. All right, so that's what I want. Inside your CLS bag, you're going to have lubrication packets that look like this. All right, lubricate the MPA. Gently press back on the casualty's nose, and insert the MPA, bevel the septum. If you meet resistance, just pull the MPA out and apply it into the, the left nostril. And you're gonna head tilt chin lift, steady before. Once again, if perform everything correctly, the greater will stay, casualty is not breathing. Casualty's not breathing, all right, you're gonna give him breaths. You're gonna collapse the nostril and plug the MPA, and you're gonna have a breath, one second, uh, one second each. Look, uh, look, listen, and feel at the chest in between each breath. Are you going to do two? One, two. At this time, the greater will stay, the chest did not rise. Chest did not rise. Are right, you going to tilt the casualties head back farther? And repeat the same process. Two. Once again, the greater will stay, the chest did not rise. Chest not rise. All right, now you're going to go into chest compressions. You're going to do compressions at a rate of 100 per minute. At a ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. All right, you're gonna locate the nipple line. Use the heel of your palm in the center of the chest. Your fingers can be extended or interlaced. All right, arms straight over top of the casualty. You're gonna do 30, uh, 30 compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, notice Son Hurley's counting out loud. Make sure you guys are counting out loud. If you don't count out loud, and you count in your head, that's perfectly fine. But if we're counting for you in our head, and we count 28 and you count it 30, we're not gonna give you the prompt to continue because we didn't count it 30. So if you count out loud, you're saving yourselves from having to continue doing the same process all over again. All right, so you're gonna do 30 compressions and then two breaths. One, two. This time, the greater will stay. You see an object stuck in the casualty's mouth. See an object in the casualty's mouth. He's gonna fish it out using the fish hook method, all right? Just fish it out. Repeat the breaths. One, two. Will there be an actual object in there? At this time, he had a question. Yeah, there's not going to be an actual object in there, right? We don't want people to get messed around and it not actually come out on you, so you're trying to simulate the movement. All right, at this time, the greater will stay. You see the chest rise and fall with your breath, but the casualty is still not breathing. All right, clear the airway. So now you're going to check the pulse. You're going to do it with two fingers, not using the thumb, on the side nearest to you. All right, you're going to place it in the crease next to his Adam's apple, all right? So you're going to put your uh, fingers there and check for pulse. After five to ten seconds, the greater will stay. You do not feel a pulse. All right, you do not feel a pulse. You're going to go back into compressions. This is your second round of compressions. You're going to do 30 compressions in 23 seconds, all right? For those compressions, you can either state or perform that you're allowing for full chest wall expansion. All right, we highly encourage that you verbalize this part. If not, it would look like allowing uh, one to two inches down and then allowing the chest wall to fully retract. All right, if you verbalize that, you're good to go. All right, so 30 compressions and two breaths. One, 
two. All right, again, if performed correctly, the greater will stay. Two minutes has elapsed. Two minutes elapsed. Every time you hear that, that's your cue to check the pulse. Two minutes, pulse. All right, this time, three to five seconds later, the greater will stay. You feel the pulse. All right, feel the pulse. Now you're getting chicken's breathing. Three to five seconds later, the greater will once again stay. The casualty is not breathing. All right, the casualty is not breathing. Now you're going to go into rescue breaths, all right? Same as before. Plug the nose, give a breath, but you're gonna do it every five to six seconds, all right? So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If performed correctly, the greater will stay two minutes has elapsed. Two minutes has elapsed. So if time you hear that, you're gonna check the pulse. On this one, you're not gonna be cued, and then you're gonna immediately check into breathing, all right? So check the pulse, check the breathing. Once again, if performed correctly, the greater will stay, the casualty is breathing and conscious. All right, he's breathing and conscious. Now you're gonna place him into the recovery position. You're gonna take his arm near his shoe and extend it straight up. Take his opposite arm and rest his head on top of his hand. Take his far side knee and bend it. In a grasp behind his neck, supporting his head. Grab him by the hips and roll him over. This time, you're gonna state that you're gonna watch the casualty for life-threatening conditions. If his condition deteriorates, you will continue CPR until his breathing and pulse returns. You're relieved by a medic, or you're no longer physically able to do so. At that time, the greater will stop the time. At this time, Sergeant Hurley is let go at 6.15.